back to the Bible says what? Today I'm going to summarize John 6, where Jesus feeds the multitudes, Jesus walks on water, Jesus claims to be the bread of life, and where many of his disciples desert him. Uh, Jesus had been healing lots of sick people everywhere, so lots of people were following him to see what he would do next. Now, Jesus wanted to teach his disciples alone, so he went up on a mountainside, but the people found out where he was, and they followed him there. Jesus thought the people looked hungry, so he tested his disciples and asked them to give all the people something to eat. Now, there were around 5,000 men there. If we included the women and children, that number would be likely 15,000 or so. Philip told Jesus there was no way, and that would take half a year's wages to feed everyone just a bite each. Now, Andrew spoke up and told Jesus a small boy had five small loaves of bread and two fish, but added that obviously wasn't enough to feed everyone. Their amazement, Jesus told his disciples to instruct all the people to sit down for a meal. In view of all the people, Jesus took the bread and the fish and gave thanks to the Father for them. He broke off pieces and handed them out, and kept handing pieces out until everyone had their fill. Now, Jesus didn't want anything to go to waste, so he told his disciples to gather up all the leftovers. They gathered 12 baskets full of the leftovers. The people saw this great miracle and swarmed Jesus and tried to make him king of Israel by force, but he slipped away and prevented that from happening. Earlier in the day, Jesus told his disciples they needed to go to Capernaum that evening. And when Jesus didn't show up at the boat that evening to go, they decided to head out anyway and obey Jesus. Now, a few hours later, while on the water, a storm came up and was threatening the boat. They saw something walking on the water and were afraid. They thought it was a ghost or something. But as the figure got closer, they saw that it was Jesus. They knew it was Jesus when he told them not to be afraid like he normally did. As soon as he got into the boat, another miracle happened. The whole boat immediately reached the shore where they were going. Now the next day, the crowds noticed only one boat left across the water, but that Jesus was not there with him. They stayed because they thought Jesus was still there. When they realized he wasn't, they all took off after him and found him on the other side of the lake. They asked him when he got there and how he got there, but Jesus didn't answer them. Instead, he scolded them. He said they were only looking for him because they got free food. He told them to work for the food that endures to eternal life, everlasting food that he could give them. Jesus then said his customary controversial saying, he said to them that he is the bread of life that came down from heaven and that anyone who ate of his flesh and drank of his blood would have eternal life. The people started grumbling to themselves and couldn't understand what he was saying. They said, how can anyone eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood? And how can this man say that he came down from heaven? They kept murmuring to themselves and said that they couldn't accept this. And most of the crowd left, never to return to Jesus. Jesus then asked his closest disciples, you don't want to leave too, do you? Now Peter answered and said, there is no one else to go to. Only you have the words to eternal life, Jesus. And he went on and said that he knows that Jesus was the Messiah. Most important verse in this chapter is John 6, 40 in which Jesus states, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. I think God wants us to read this chapter and then understand that while he can provide us with bread for our fleshly body, he is more interested in giving us eternal life when we believe in Jesus. Turn to Jesus and repent for your sin. Ask God the Father to forgive you and save you. Now confess to him that you believe in Jesus and the work he did for you on the cross. Tomorrow may be one day too late. Hey, thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with somebody.